So um, I wanted to see how the auto tone mapping worked with my Apple TV, okay? And so the first thing I did, um, I rented, well, I didn't rent, I purchased Aquaman from the iTunes store. And uh, here you see uh, that Aquaman, this particular chapter happens to be 1,493 nits max, max CLL, that's maximum content light level. And it's 541 nits on max FALL, which is uh, maximum frame average light level. So peak average. Based on that metadata, uh, metadata is additional data that's in the video stream. The projector can read that and the projector can set the gamma adjustments for picture tone, dark level, bright level. So think about how the typical family might, you know, uh, settle in and watch, watch a movie uh, some evening. They turn on their Apple TV and it's like, you know, what's in the iTunes store, what's on Netflix, what's on YouTube? Well, even just changing from this movie, let's go to Netflix. So Netflix, this, this particular title was 4,000 nits uh, max and 1,000 nits average. And you can see what happened. The gamma, the picture tone went all the way to minus three, bright level stayed at plus one or went to plus one. Um, so again, consistent operation. Now the customer would generally never see this menu. This is all happening transparently in the background. There's nothing the customer has to do. Now let's go to YouTube. And we went from a, from a 4,000 nit max to 250 nits only on the max. And instead of 1,000 nits on the average, it's 100. So a much lower uh, range of brightness. That doesn't make it good or bad, it just makes it quite different. So now the picture tone went from minus three to plus six. That is a nine click difference. And if you make that adjustment on the projector, you would see that's a very dramatic change in picture quality. Bright level went from one to six, also a pretty significant jump. So the projector is watching these changing values. And even as you move from one provider to another on your Apple TV, behind the scenes without any interaction from you, it's making those changes. And the idea is that you get the best viewing experience no matter what you're watching. That's pretty interesting. And for the average consumer, that's gonna be extremely valuable. I mean, there's a lot of people that are gonna be watching this video that are gonna be going into advanced calibrations, but this auto tone mapping is huge. Yeah. And that's why we like JVC. And, and people aren't gonna to think to change their picture setting while they're watching their Apple TV from one source to another, and now they don't have to. Not only are they not, not going to think about it, but they don't want to. Or, <laughs> the and, average, and the average have, consumer does not want to mess with that. Right, and they may not have the knowledge to set it right. Again, you don't have to. What people want is hit play, enjoy the movie, and that's what JVC gives them. I'm not aware of any other projector that can match this feature. This is totally unique to JVC right now. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing me that. That's very valuable information. And this is on the RS-1000, the RS-2000, and the RS-3000. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us that, Chris. You bet. If you guys uh, would like more information about JVC projectors, just reach out to us. Uh, give us a call, shoot us a text or email. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.